This Focus on Health segment is brought to you by Aurora Healthcare. Hello and welcome to Focus on Health. I'm Ted Stefaniak. Today we're at the Aurora Health Center in Oshkosh and we're going to be discussing diabetes with Dr. Cynthia Lee. We're going to be talking about risk factors, prevention, and options for treatment of diabetes. Well, Dr. Lee, thanks for joining us today. And we are talking about diabetes. What are some of the things that if a person doesn't have diabetes or they haven't been diagnosed with diabetes, what are the, some of the things that you should be aware of in terms of a risk factor to avoid getting diabetes? Being uh, inactive is probably one of the more important ones. And that's real common as we get older. Adding a few extra pounds is another problem that can bring out diabetes. And just being aware of your family history. Um, type 2 diabetes, which is the most common kind, is very much associated with a positive family history. So if you have one or both parents that have diabetes, you are at high risk and you should be conscious of right. maintaining a healthy lifestyle to avoid developing diabetes yourself, or at least delay it as long as possible. Right, and those are some of the, the risk factors involved in diabetes, but when should a person start to be concerned about it? Are, are there certain signs that a person would, would start to see that, that might indicate that they might have diabetes? Unfortunately, most people don't have any symptoms. We wish they did, <laughs> but if you were gonna have symptoms, the classic ones are uh, what's called polydipsia, polyuria, and polyphasia, and it means you're really thirsty, you're drinking a lot of water, and as you might expect when you're drinking a lot of water, then you're going to the bathroom a lot. And you may also notice a change in your hunger. Some people are very hungry. Another thing that can occur is unintentional weight loss, which most people are very pleased about, but if you're not actively trying to lose weight, it may be a sign that something is going on. Right, so then how are people typically diagnosed with diabetes? Is it just through an through a annual exam? Often, um, because most people don't have any symptoms, they go in and see their doctor for their annual physical and they get the routine mm -hmm. blood testing and there's always a blood sugar on there. And if it's high, over 126, then you're in. <laughs> right, right. Uh, what, what's the most important thing people should know when, when it comes to diabetes? That you are in charge of your own disease. This is not something that is controlled by your doctor. This is something that you are in charge of. And if you take charge of your health, you will do much better. I always tell people that you can out eat any medication or any injection that your doctor can prescribe. So nothing works well unless you are in charge of your own health and you're making the effort to increase your physical activity, um, eat healthy, regular meals, and lose weight, hopefully. Right, right, and I, I would imagine it's also important to keep track of some very important numbers, starting with, uh, help me out with this, hemoglobin A1C. Hemoglobin A1C, very good. <laughs> <laughs> that is the gold standard test for monitoring diabetes, and it is a um, longer term uh, assessment of what your average blood sugar is. We can do one every three months, although if people are doing well, they only need one every six months. Um, and it's a reflection of your average blood sugar over the previous three months, 90 days. The other um, daily numbers are the, the finger stick blood sugars that most people learn to do when they get the diagnosis of diabetes. And this is what your blood sugar is right now this minute. And the ideal range for those numbers is between about 70 and 140. And how important is your cholesterol level when, when it comes to taking care of your diabetes? That's not uh, directly related to the diabetes, but it's very commonly seen in association with diabetes. And um, there's a strong connection with heart disease and diabetes. So it's a number that is important. With a diet and weight loss, the cholesterol usually comes down along with blood sugars. So it's a you get a um, bonus. Right. If you do well with your blood sugars, your cholesterol usually improves Would that be well. the, the same thing then with your um, blood pressure as well? Yes, yep, it all goes together. <laughs> your numbers all go up and down, usually together. Right. Uh, who's part of your medical team when, when you're dealing with diabetes? Is it just your primary care physician? No, the most important people that you are gonna see are the diabetes educators. And uh, our system has two in the Oshkosh location. Um, 
there's a registered nurse, CDE, Certified Diabetes Educator, and a registered dietitian, CDE. And these are the people that teach you everything you need to know about your diabetes and how to take care of yourself. So they are the most important people you see. Your primary care doctor is always involved. Sometimes the endocrinologist like myself will be involved, but not always. If people do well with lifestyle, I don't necessarily need to be um, involved. Yeah. Is there a specific treatment that's more important than another when it comes to, to treating or managing the diabetes? Diet. Diet, 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 diet. <laughs> We've heard that before. The, you know, say the top 10 things on a list of 11 is diet. How about medications? There are a variety of medications out there, and there isn't any one right way. Um, so everyone needs to be individually looked at as far as which medications are going to work for them, which ones they're going to tolerate, what fits into lifestyle. Okay. And when it comes to actually coming to your office, can a person just show up or make an appointment with you or do you recommend that they get a referral? Usually they are referred. Um, they get referred from their primary care doctor to the educating team and um, if they do really well, they might never need to see me. And that's a good thing. Right. That's a good thing. Right. Um, but if there are issues or things are deteriorating, then that's usually when the primary care doctor will refer them in to see me. All right. Great information. Thanks for joining us today, Dr. Lee. You're welcome. Now, if you have any questions about diabetes, you can contact your primary care provider here at Aurora or Dr. Lee by calling 920-303-8700. I'm Ted Stefaniak, and we'll see you next time on Focus on Health. This Focus on Health segment has been brought to you by Aurora Healthcare.